with this animal we're going to field dress going right to the tagging station then directly to the butchers within an hour and a half it's going to be at the butcher and he's going to skin it for us the first area that i always start is around the the pelvic cavity in this case the anus and the vulva it actually comes out of the the pelvic region and and goes forward on them we're going to begin here then we'll make an incision up through where this is a cow that you're not going to have mounted but you're going to have a uh, save the hide to, to tan for a rug we're going to split it and this is actually the best case scenario for the animal we will make an incision all the way up through to the chin we will then split the sternum which allows us to open that cavity up remove the esophagus and peel everything backwards so it'll be the the uh, probably the cleanest possible so let's get started just a, a case knife that's it's got a fairly long blade probably a five inch uh, blade on a large animal like a moose a little extra blade length uh, it does help because it gives you a little bit more reach the touchy part here is trying not to puncture the uh, intestines or bladder again we're just working on connective tissue if you give it a little tension against that connective tissue and just touch it with the knife it'll come apart so the other thing in this area that you'll want to do is use your hand to push away from the cavity that's much less risk of puncturing things with your hand than you do with a knife I like to make an incision just in the skin all the way up first I'm just gonna go around the udder you see I'm, I'm pinching the skin and pulling it up so that we don't have so you're separating that away from the body cavity and you're cutting up that way there's less of an opportunity to puncture the abdomen uh, we're just removing the udder at this point there. if you cut down you're going to do two things one you're going to puncture the abdomen then you're going to have intestinal contents all over two you're going to dull your knife cutting the hair one key thing to mention here this animal is not going to be have a shoulder mount done if you were going to do a shoulder mount you would stop your incision forward at this point in this case we're going to be able to split the sternum and be able to reach things without having to get way inside the animal actually and we're simply splitting the sternum right down the center this is where you want to be a little careful we're we're coming through most of the breastbone right at the actual the cartilage end of the sternum and that's where the diaphragm is if you look here's the heart and lung in front of the diaphragm the stomach and abdomen are going to be here but behind so i'm going to stop with the saw there before we make a mess at this point we're going to cut the trachea and esophagus and begin to pull that free if you cut it back in the cavity it's going to spill it into the animal by cutting it here minimal and actually no spillage we can now pull that to the side and anything that may come out is on the ground and not in your animal so what i'm doing here is cutting the stomach lining you're not going to cut yourself <laughs> right so if you push your hand push down with your hand on the stomach and up with the knife between your fingers you can go right down through with no risk you can see the pressure of the, those gases building right there it's the part you want to be the most take the most care in because you don't want to puncture any of this we have the heart heart lungs the diaphragm which separates the stomach and intestines and other organs from the heart lung area we need to now separate that we can cut the diaphragm and again I can use my hand for protection we can also begin to use this as a handle and pull away so now just like removing the esophagus on that end we have the anus and vulva have come cleanly through <clears throat> and we can begin from this end and that's diaphragm and as you can see there's blood in the cavity from where uh, made a perfect shot through the lungs 
That is a perfectly clean cavity, no stomach contents or anything like that to spoil the meat.